just kind of a casual party, you know. <laughs> and then uh, I meet a couple of buddies, ended up playing beer pong, you know, just that kind of whole thing. First time playing beer pong, actually, for at this party. Oh man, I, I oh, fuck, I suck at beer pong. I discovered that I am absolutely terrible at beer pong. By the end, like, me and my buddy were absolutely smashed, you know, we were smashed. And his sister drinking a fair bit herself, you know. So he, he went off to crash, and then I ended up, you know, going off the backyard. I, I fucking I couldn't handle myself. I ended up throwing up. You know, we just drank so much and did so many hardcore fucking drugs, you know, it just, it was so much. And then, you know, his, his sister ended up coming out, like, half drunk to help me out. And so she gave me a nice aid, you know? You know, and then later that night, things got going. But she had already given me the aids, you know? She, 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 uh, she went, she just helped me out, she already gave me the aids. You know? She fucked pretty hard down there, and when I went, went to, the, to the doctor the next day, I was told I had an uncurable disease that, you know, could possibly ruin my life. Oh, well, did they get AIDS? Oh, yeah. I know it was fun and sexy. At first it was fun and sexy, and then at the end I realized I had an HIV. Oh, so you had chlamydia. Yeah, pretty much. So now I just go bar hopping, you're not telling any woman my name, and then just, you know, get laid. Oh. Their house, usually. I forgot to take girls home, especially when I have AIDS. You know, I, I mean his sister, I mean his sister like paid for physical aids around my house when I parties. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I mean like was it good thing? Oh, physical aids. I don't know, she still comes around every once in a while to give me a physical aid herself, so. Oh. Yeah. I mean like have you really been carrying the conversation that I've been gone? Yep. <laughs> Yep, I, I, I've been able to do it. I just told a nice little story about how I got AIDS. Oh. HIV and physical AIDS for my parties. Oh. Yep. So um, that means your HIV evolved. Oh yeah, yeah that, I, that's just long gone, you know? Because you know, HIV AIDS. I mean, uh, yeah, HIV is AIDS before it's AIDS. Yeah. Oh, no, no, the, the HIV is long gone, bro. Really? Yes, I had scramble AIDS, you know, sunny side of AIDS, you know. Sounds tasty. You know. Oh, yeah. Don't we like the whites in those AIDS, eh? You don't even like those white AIDS, eh? You can just go borrow the AIDS. Personally, I... You know, I don't mean to be racist or anything. I usually, I, I prefer those brown eggs. Oh. I mean, like, I've never heard of a brown egg before it doesn't come from a black chicken. Uh, yeah, yeah, it does. And it's right, it's quite, quite, quite tasty, you know. Oh. Real tasty. Real tasty eggs. Very, very tasty eggs. Oh, yeah, you just get, get on in there and there's all that yeast and that crust and it's delicious. Oh. It's nice and uh, crispy, you know, nice and crunchy. I have never had any before. Really? Trust me, it's, it's, worth, uh, it's worth getting. Oh, yeah, totally. I mean, like, you get a discount on everything, you know? Like, don't you know? Oh, yeah. Sometimes you can get AIDS, you get a coupon. Well, man, all you have to do is, you have, you have, you have, all you have to do. Make sure that they know you have the brown eggs, and, and they know they, they know to give you that discount. You know. Okay. And it should be easier for you because you're. Because you know, what, last time I tried to, to tell the chick I had brown eggs, she, she looked at me and she's like, "What, what kind of lanky ass white boy like he's gonna get get brown eggs?" You know. And I just told her the story. And she's like, "Oh shit." Brown eggs are bigger at the bottom, you know that? Yeah, they definitely are. Yeah, definitely are.